My name is Claire Martin. I'm Head of Strategy and Marketing for Zeiss Diagnostic Instruments. I've been with the company many, many years, Carl Zeiss. Obviously, we're known for being an innovative company. Uh, we actually invented OCT, we've got our ultra wide field, and we're launching today the Atlas Corneal Topographer. The Atlas 500 is a very exciting instrument because it's not just a corneal topographer, it also can do a complete dry eye assessment, and you can see everything on, on the screen as you're looking at it. So, this is actually my eye. I had laser treatment and I had to be retreated in one of my eyes. So I am actually suffering in one of my eyes with a little bit of dry eye. So it can do a lot of things all in one instrument. Like Claire said with the Atlas 500, it is many devices in one. So the first thing we can do is a to uh, corneal topography, which allows us, like Claire said, to uh, track and screen for keratotonus. But one thing that's really handy and useful with this device is the fact that it tells us exactly what we need to do when we're capturing it. So we always start with the corneal topography, which allows us to do the contact lens fitting, um, also see the posterior, the anterior of the uh, cornea. We can then go on to our imaging and video feature. So we can just image the placido rings like so. It's very easy with a click of a button. We can even do fluorescence, so if there's a patient with um, corneal scarring, abrasions, even ulcers, we can track it. And then we can also just look at the tear meniscus as well. But we can either use our placido rings or just use normal white LEDs and have a look at the conjunctival redness, the limbal redness, so we can start to put together that dry eye report. We then go to our mybography glands and then we can analyze it and see what state they're in. And then we have pupillometry where we can see how the pupil reacts in different daylight for contact lens fitting. We can do static imaging or we can do dynamic and we can see actually exactly how wide it goes. So we can customize the contact lens fitting for the patient as well. Finally, we have our tear film breakup. We have all our instructions. We want to keep the patient say, keep staring, keep staring as long as they can, because we want to see how the tear film evaporates. So once we've captured all the images, it's very easy to create that dry eye report. We can bring all the images in, analyze the images, and it gives us the information we need. So the next time the patient comes again, after we've treated them with dry eyes or they're using continuous treatment with drops, we can then repeat the dry eye report and see if it has improved, if the treatment's targeted enough, or if we need to change strategies. It can also screen for disease like keratoconus, um, so that's really useful, but I think most practices, as well as having a corneal topographer, will love the dry eye assessment that it can do.